Dude, this talk. is a wreck. All right, we're. I promise you, we'll get better. Next one will be better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is this as soon as you hit the record? It just feel like it doesn't feel like you. Oh yeah, because you could talk all day with your best friends right. on the phone and everything. But as soon as that record button, I think it's like, you know that. I don't know. Just I think it's the whole thing about like you know someone's listening. Um, and they're not listening right now, but like you know that they're going to listen. So it's like you're trying so hard to, to focus. Sound cool. Yes, to sound to good cool, and like yeah. to transition good. And it's hard. It really is hard. But you know, this could be a really positive experience for you guys. Buddha blesses podcast. Welcome to this podcast. That's what the fuck I thought. Why do you have to use words like 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 pussy and badge and minge? What's wrong with you kids? This is the way we do They're so different than anything that existed like 20, 30 years ago. We are recording. Start recording on the pod, I feel like. Yo. Hey. Hey. What's How up? you doing? Hey. <laughs> All right, you want to keep fighting like this shit again, bro? Okay. Um, turned up. Yeah. Get get the vibes going. Yeah, turn. But it up. don't matter. They want to shoot. It's time for us to fucking shoot, cocksuckers. They want to get down and dirty. Don't forget who the fuck we are. You understand me? We're America, the bitch. Motherfuckers out there. You send a message to that fucking North Korean. He's gonna be sniffing my dick and sucking my asshole. That's the focus. We're going to North Korea in like a year. It's gonna be an island. It's gonna glow in the dark. You know why? Because we're Americans, cocksuckers. Who the fuck you, you think you're right, with? cocksuckers? Stop with the gun control. They're selling more guns than ever the last three days. <laughs> Stop with the fucking whiting. Stop with the Russians on Facebook. I don't give a fuck. Worry about yourself. Keep your eyes open and get the fuck off Snapchat and fucking Twitter, cocksuckers. Hey, you Preach. fucking cocksuckers. Yo, yo, yo. Joey Diaz for president. For real. <laughs> you ready to start this? Kick the, as Joey yeah. Diaz says, kick this motherfucker mule. Yeah, pause it. Pause. All right, what's up, guys? Hey, welcome to. Well, hey, guys, welcome to our podcast. Yo, welcome to our podcast, bro. This is our first podcast. Uh, well, test no. tube talk, what it is, baby. Test tube talk is the pod. Um, guys, um, we're just sitting here, kick it. With you guys, break y'all out from the, the hamster wheel of the daily grind, nine to five, or make, maybe make it a little bit better and entertain you guys. Um, Alyssa, I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, give it, give us something, uh, a little intro or something like that. Like Tell, tell the people what we're about, what we're doing here. All right, y'all. So welcome to Test Tube Talk. It's your girl, Alyssa, and my co-host, Jacob. Um, basically, it's Jake to you, cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, basically, we just doing this shit for fun. Like, we have nothing better to do, and we always listen to podcasts. Shout out to Joe Rogan. Um, Joe Rogan, the Godfather. Check it out. So, yeah, we just listen to a lot of pods, and I figured, man, we start a pod because. I'm really tired of doing this nine to five bullshit. I need a good hobby to do. So Yo, me, me and Alyssa, we Alyssa really first one that had me. In, Yo, I well, was I, I was ready to start a pod. I know I was kind of. I, I was ready to use like our sorry to interrupt, but I was right. ready to use like our bullshit microphones and just the laptop that we had, and we did. Like I did yeah. a couple times, and that shit was fun. <laughs> yeah, we did before. Yeah, but now we're legit, you guys. This is a legit setup. Like, <laughs> we got a whole like studio set up. Yeah. With some real condenser mics. Oh, yeah. What's Shout good? out Guitar Center. Yo, and if you guys ever want to be on our podcast, hit us up, y'all. Hit us up. What's our, our Gmail? It's like TV. Yeah, TestTubeTV at, at gmail.com. Gmail. Gmail. It, it may be TestTubeTV official at Gmail. We'll for sure com. put the link in the description and everything. Yeah, link in the description. You'll be able yeah. to find this on YouTube. On I think uh, we're going to try to figure out how you can broadcast it to like you know stitcher spotify itunes all that other stuff oh, that yeah. you got going on so y'all can find it and listen to it tell y'all's friends about it if you enjoy it the best way to like support it is just, like guess review comment and subscribe stuff like that to where it kind of helps us build it in the ranks till we can reach other people like us we're gonna have guests basically 
what we're going to be doing here is trying to break people out of the hamster wheel of the nine to five, like trying to get people to go for a career and, and choose a path that they're, that they're, they'll enjoy and something that is not going to feel like a job. Uh, to oh, me, yeah. I mean, I work, I work a hard, I've all my life, I worked nothing but hard labor jobs and mm-hmm. that's what got me, uh, well, first had me found podcasts in the first place was just, man, I just hate, I just hated my job so much. So I listen, That'll do I listen it. to Joe Rogan. I mean, you listen to music. I don't listen to all my favorite artists, but, but after a while it gets old. Yeah. And now I don't switch it up to where I listen to like 10 hours of a uh, podcast a day. Joe Yo. Rogan, Fighter and the Kid, Impulsive. Shout out to them. You go follow them if you're new to podcasts. There's some bangers yeah there's some good ones yo okay so when we hopped on podcasts i liked it a lot because we started learning a lot of shit too like we would like we could kill three to four hours just listening to podcasts at work right but we're also like learning Mm -hmm. and so like we would come home and like talk about the podcast that we listen to podcast a new wave yeah i think it is and i think a lot of people have caught on but like not enough there's still a lot of people who when i ask them have you ever listened to podcasts they're like no yeah, there's still like a majority of people that yeah. still haven't even uh, listened to a podcast before. But they, I feel like they're the new way because you could be doing anything like I'm sitting there taking Henny out to uh, take a shit and I got a podcast in my ear right. learning about like uh, if they that they think that um, I don't even know. I don't want to get into it. I'm talking about like. Just the craziest shit ever, man. Oh, some yeah. some informational, love, some some entertaining is. Yo, I love the comedian ones. Like the comedians make the best podcasts because they talk about jokes, they talk about like real life shit, they talk about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Joe Rogan. Joe uh, Rogan, listen here, Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't know. We got a couple of things that we want to discuss with you guys. If you still listen to us at this point, <laughs> right. <laughs> We're trying to be like, we're like Joe Rogan, but just like on more drugs. What? We don't do drugs. No, nah, I mean. Anymore. We're going to cut that. <laughs> so, I don't know, Lisa. Like, where do we start? You know what? You want to know where we start? I think the government is watching me through my phone. For and real? I think it's listening to me because whenever I, like we talk on the phone, when I call you after you- work and shit. When I'm calling you and it's ringing, it has like a thing where it stops and it glitches and then it's like someone's checking in. Really? Yes. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. On the phone? Yes. Yes. I, I've had that before. Like just, well, me and you. And I haven't even done anything like illegal. Like I don't go on the dark web or anything. So why are they checking in on me? Like what am I Shit, doing? they probably listen to us right now. I know. What the <laughs> fuck? Like why Yo, Why do you want to check on me? No, I had I had one the other day and it was uh just this past... Uh, you for told Christmas. me about it. Didn't your phone glitch on you or something? No, it wasn't. It wasn't a glitch. It was. I was for sure. I did not type it up or look at it at all. Okay. But it was a cookie through something that I had spoken. Something that I oh, said. Oh yeah. You ever had that before? Yeah, Alexa does that. They have like a lot of conspiracies about Alexa doing that. Well, it's, I'm not, I'm not, that's why I'll never. I'll never get Alexa. You get. You think you get no, Alexa? No, I don't want a Google Home. I don't want an Alexa. I used to have an iHome, but I don't even want those anymore because everybody is listening to you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you seen the videos of the uh, of the the wise cam, not the wise cam. The people cams, breaking the, uh, into security cameras and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, breaking into security that cameras. That shit is scary. And we have security cameras, so that's even scarier. Like, and I like, I don't mean to get too crazy, but I walk around the house naked sometimes. And if the security camera catches it, and other people are checking in, they can see it. It's like, what the fuck? Yo, no. Uh, well, I mean, we don't have the the Nest ones, but have you not seen the uh, the video like? Where it says, uh, San- like Santa is, um, the little girl. And th- there's a guy that hacks in onto the, uh, nest cam and he's like, Hey little girl, it's no. your best friend is Santa. You no, haven't seen that? What the fuck? Yeah. Have you seen any of these videos? Yeah. I've seen a few, but never like the Santa one. I was We're going to get kicked off. I don't think you can play it. No, nah, yeah, I think you could play it. Oh. This is audio. Oh, okay. What is it? Uh, Joe Rogan always says that you can't play it. <laughs> and Jamie's like, no. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, pull that shit up for me. But once downstairs, Yo. Who is this? 
an unseen mm -mm. intruder, talking to them through their Nest security camera, using obscenities, including the N-word. Asking me, you know, why I'm looking at him, because he saw obviously that I was looking back um, and continuing to taunt me. It was terrifying. Sood says once his shock subsided, he composed himself enough to record part of the ominous exchange. What's that? Sood believes the hacker also turned their upstairs thermostat yeah, 90 degrees, noticing that the same night. Oh, oh my no, God. This. Potential danger to their baby. And then they mess with our thermostat. Why, who does that again who does that the can't they disable that shit interior cameras called police what Ness is saying is that they're not actually Pause uh, it. so Ness is saying they're not actually like hacking into um the cameras themselves they're saying that they're getting their their passwords and then they're pulling up through there nah Ness just doesn't want to get sued probably so yeah I know with the cameras that we got uh the company we got they had um they call them like white white uh white uh labs forget the what white hat hackers or something like that they have a name for them it's just basically for real? yeah they're like they're legit they're not like uh illegal hackers they, they they go into security and they'll try to hack it just try to uh make sure that your security system is uh safe and they they ran it through uh the the, the brand that we have and they said so far that's what they say but my belief is Whoever's owning this, like China, I feel like they have uh, access and they are watching this. I, be I believe that. Can I tell you something? Huh. Okay, so I was high the other night after I smoked a blunt. And I <laughs> shit you not, I don't. I couldn't tell if I was just like high and tripping or if I was just like, if it was real. But I was uh, folding clothes in the bedroom, right? And so like our security cameras doesn't see in the bedroom. But I had walked from past the security camera from getting the laundry from out of the dryer. And then I walked to the bedroom and I started doing the laundry. And I swore in your voice, I heard you like say that uh, I love you or something. What? Yeah. Through the security Maybe. camera? Yeah. So I figured no. so. No. Yeah. So I figured, OK, so he's probably like watching me on the thing and he's probably just like trying to, you know, talk to me out of it. Because I know you've done it before when I was well, I'm at work. Yeah. You were at work. Well, why would that? No, that would make no sense. And I thought that I don't I, even and watch the security camera. I thought that I was just tripping. Just, so then I was just like, oh, I was just tripping. I was probably just high, just like thinking about him or whatever. Yeah. But I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Shit was crazy because it was like really faint. So if it would have been like off of the camera, I think it would have been like a little bit louder. But it was creepy and i kind of like i looked out like you can see it in the security camera if we saved it or whatever you can uh see that i looked out to like see if anyone was here yeah yeah i was like what the fuck damn that is crazy what if it was a ghost it was you your voice it's my voice yeah it was your voice hmm. it had to have been like a recording or just like maybe you. it was a ghost from of me from a different dimension or something yeah it was weird <laughs> it was fucking weird I was like, You believe in ghosts? But you know, I am more paranoid here at the apartment, so. Why are you more paranoid? I don't know. I just feel like someone, it's easier for someone to break in because there's so many people Definitely around. Definitely not. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot more people around. But. We hear our neighbors. We hear the neighbors behind us. We yeah. hear the neighbors above us. I we, feel like no one would fucking help us, though, if something like that happened. Uh, I highly doubt that. There's. There's police that live here, and then there's uh, also the dudes that be riding around and shit. There's some, and there's the alarm that's just gonna go off. The security sit like yeah, people are gonna come. But shit, if our neighbor's alarm goes off, I'm gonna grab my pistol and go down there and see what's going on. Well, that's good. You're a good neighbor. I imagine everybody would at least uh, me. Call I don't it, mind my business unless I hear gunshots or something. I'll call the I'll call the cops maybe at the at the very least. You know. Yeah, it's like clearly looks like somebody broke in or something. Because that alarm, I don't know when we first moved in. You, I don't know if you heard it. That thing's loud. I heard some other people's. Really? Go off. Yeah, that thing is freaking loud, yo. Well, that's is, good. It's as loud as like that. Uh, when we had it at our first place, Remember yeah. that thing was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. But I'm still finna mind my business. Minding your business, <laughs> no man. You gotta look out for people. That, that's one. That's one of our goals with this podcast, man. We want people to look out for each other. I feel like. But what if you get up, caught up in some place that you're not supposed to be? 
I'm well. Okay, yep. you're looking the nuances of it, so it's like people are crazy. If you happen to walk into Walmart while there's a shooter, best believe that shooter is gonna shoot you too. Man, I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that! I'm gonna go. You're hide. not you're gonna defend yourself. That's yeah, the someone's. Re- that's the whole reason to carry a gun, man. You carry a gun and not use it. Right, but if I don't have to, I'd rather not. You know. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> I will. Sometimes I look forward to that. <laughs> you never have those. You never have those dreams where you're like, bro, if this is like a like, I, yeah. especially nowadays, I'll yeah. go. I'll go into Walmart. And I'll be like, okay, so if there's like a mass shooting, I'll be looking around. I'll be like, yo, I'm ducking around here, this corner right here. So you make and a I plan actually, A got, through C. Yeah, it's like, well, then I come right here. I had clear shot of the objective. <laughs> pop, pop. I'm taking him out. Look at this guy right here to the left. He's looking a little sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> we go. We go stay away from him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, man, and man. I don't know, man. Just going out nowadays is giving me so much anxiety. So much more anxiety than it did give me. For way real. Back then. Like Walmart used to not give me anxiety, but now I step into Walmart for one thing and I have a whole anxiety attack while I'm checking out. Yeah. There's it's, just too many fucking people. Man, it's tough times now. Man, I don't yeah. remember it. And you being can't like tell. This. No, it wasn't when did like this. Just this. Start? Literally, I think like after 2000s, 2000. everything went crazy. Batshit. Bro, when. So. What I guess I shit I got a computer because so after two thousand it was nine eleven and then people went crazy. Okay, because I'm okay. The, I'm thinking like okay after two thousand twelve and shit like that. That's when more like school school shootings got more. Uh, we were supposed to die in two thousand twelve, and that's what I'm saying. What if we did die and we're in a different dimension? Why like. That's why shit got, shit's kind of weird right now. What? To be honest with you. Yeah, you know, it before, is. Before it 2012, is. did we have... People are brave. Yo, did we have, tra- did we have tan- transsexuals and shit like that? And like, Yeah, but I don't... We, I, we think had, well, we, I mean, we had them, but I'm saying, but uh, the LGBTQ uh, community, it was... I don't know. I, I'm all with everybody living their truth and stuff like that. Like, go for it and shit like that. But before 2012, we weren't really, like, having these conversations and, like, it wasn't really out and open like that so i'm also wondering is like uh what's what? going on here okay so what if like back in the olden days we'll say like 60s to 2000s right okay so people were very judgmental uh, against like guns gays drugs i don't know everything and so they didn't talk about it and they didn't like you it wasn't like a free world you couldn't like live your truth and live who you really are so now that we're trying to like enhance live your truth live who you really are we got the crazies coming out we got the pansexuals people who want to be dogs um yeah all this type of shit i seen uh one the other day this dude was uh being a baby what is a pansexual by the way i think i think pansexual means hey we're not gonna do that any we're starting we're having a podcast right now yeah chill out man sorry that's our dog man that's henny bo benny and he's fucking shit up. It only seems like he wants to do this shit when we're having a, a podcast or something. That's why I got two shoes. Oh, babe, you actually hit him. Well, he needs to shut up. No, he was fine. I got him under control. Okay, all right. Now you out of shoe, because I'm not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> My foot's a little cold. It's a little chilly. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so um okay so what is pansexual can I you think pan, can you pansexual means me? you're like everything because i said pansexual but i meant like humans. pansexual not limited in sexual choice with regard of biological sex gender or gender identity oh, okay i think i was right so pansexual means you do everything the people who want to do like become dogs like who like fetishes like no not dogs? pansexual no what is that that's some Furby shit. But pansexual to me, I don't know. That just sounds like you're being greedy. Dogs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get controversial now. First, first you episode. You can't have it. You can't have it all, man. <laughs> oh, shit. We're controversial. <laughs> We're canceled. Damn, bro. <laughs> Babe, how long, how long are you going to take for us to get canceled? Honestly, I think only a few episodes. <laughs> We need to get our shit together. Yeah. We're so open, though. We, like, talk about anything. And we don't, even, like, mean any, uh, like, harm, but we just openly talk about it. I guess that's why people get so offended, because not a lot of people want to talk about it. I don't know, man. I think we fucked 
dope man we should have just went and invested this money into therapy <laughs> right <laughs> we could use that instead we're just gonna that. broadcast it to you guys um but i'll at least give us a month yeah Here, give us a good month <laughs> we could last a month before we need to getting, shine a little bit you know <laughs> <laughs> before getting canceled right we're, we're gonna try and drop like a, a episode each week so yeah we're gonna do try and do at least once a week and then once we get the hang of it and get in the groove of it, we're going to jump it up to two. We're going to have guests. We're going to do like um, one one episode, me and Alyssa, and then one with the guest. Yeah, we actually have a guest coming on next episode, you guys. You guys are really going to like him. Um, Our very first guest. He's he's one of us. He's uh, kind of crazy is what I mean. He is kind of crazy, he's but he talks like, very he's well. He's just like some, some thoughts, you know. Like we have, we, we, we're just trying to really figure out what's going on here, really. Like what is going on right now? As far as reality... I don't really know. You think we're I'm in a just going with the wave. You think we're in a simulation? Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know because I see like all the shit from NASA and I see that like there's a space and time and then I read all like. Well, some people think space a, doesn't exist. <laughs> I've had a few acid trips and that's kind of changed my mind. We're going to have to have a whole episode on. Yeah, that. we're going to have to talk about have, that. Well, shit, we can talk about it right now. I feel like we should just go save that for a whole uh, episode. Save I, it. Yeah, and I gotta get. I, we can get another guest on here. Yeah, and let me get y'all's uh, comments on if you think we're in a simulation because I want to know what other people think because I don't really talk to a lot of people about that. Yeah, um, I think it. Well, Elon Musk says it's it's more likely than not that we're in a simulation. Elon Musk is brilliant, but also fucking crazy. So, but aren't most brilliant people crazy? Yeah, we're all mad. Like yeah. Alice in Wonderland said. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland said, we're all mad. It's not a bad thing. You think that, uh, I think maybe it's possible that Elon Musk is an alien. His girl looked like an alien. Did you see, you see the. Uh, you seen his girl? No, I've never, no, never seen her. She looked like an alien. She kind of yeah. act like one too. For real? Mm-hmm. Well, I used to follow her on Instagram. Well, look at, um. Elon Musk, uh, like when his, um, Grimes. he had the uh, interview with Joe Rogan. Look at her. He talked like a robot. Grimes? Yeah. She's interesting. They're both very interesting looking people. Elon Musk, what do you think about the Cybertruck? Yo, they look like they fit really well together. He was with Amber Heard for a while, but she's normal and he's like not normal and neither is she, so... That's her, Amber Heard. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. They look like they go together, Grimes and Elon. Um, I like the Tesla truck, but I think he tried to make it too, like, what off you see off a movie. And so I don't think it's going to be very useful. I think it's just for there, looks, if you ask some, me. Some were saying he, was, he, didn't really, he did those body lines because of the metal that they're using. They're trying to use, like, some type of uh, real... Almost like bulletproof type of metal, so they, it doesn't really bend well. So that's why it's straight lines like that. I had heard. I think I was talking to my coworker. Um, she had told me that whenever he did the, because I asked her if she's seen the intro for the Tesla truck, and he had uh, tried to smash the windows, and they were supposed to be shatterproof, <laughs> and then they shattered. But she said that like legally, I think you're supposed to be able to shatter it for a cop to get in it. If they ever need to, like, legally, yeah, legally, I think you're supposed to have like windows that can shatter because if you're ever in danger, like if you pass out at the wheel or something and someone's trying to break in to like stop you from getting off the gas pedal or something, then Google it because I think legally you're supposed to be able to have shatterproof windows so someone can save your life if they have to. Because if you have, uh, if you have shatterproof windows, then and if you're overdosing in your car and it's locked, how's someone going to save you? You know? Okay, see, because I'm not getting anything about it being legal. I'm getting more things. Is it illegal to smash your car? Well, those people are from? criminals. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, I think my people, coworker Jan told me. Oh, maybe she's a criminal. She doesn't want you to. No, die. she's a sweet old lady. Oh. <laughs> she, she went to nursing school with some nuns. Oh, so she's kind of... Fucked up, but she's cool. Uh, that's not. It kind of messes with you, you know, going with, with the nuns. nuns. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, uh, I went to Catholic school. It was a very interesting experience in Catholic school. She said they were very strict, and I can imagine. Yo, they were strict. They were strict as hell, man. They're, they were, and they would they would like uh, switch you. They get you like uh, spankings, and they would mm-hmm. pop you with switches and shit like that. Yeah, it was. I went there through uh, preschool, and man, I had some bad bad experiences in there. One time, I remember. Oh, I remember. I could. This is a good story from it. Um, I was. I recess. I would always swing on the swings, and you mm-hmm. know we would swing. You ever do that where you try to swing as high as possible? You couldn't jump off of it. Yeah. Yo, we would get up there all the way to like perpendicular with the the with rail. The pole? Yeah, yeah. dude. We launch ourselves. So we're doing that, and me and like guys when we were in preschool, doing this. And man, remember at, at that age and do nothing. You were just indestructible. I remember just rolling down oh, a yeah. couple of flight of stairs and just like getting <laughs> up and hopping on my skateboard. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, but I I did it one time. And I launched, I launched myself a little bit too far. And they had, like, the little rock pebbles. You know, they have, like, little uh, four-by-fours on the edge to keep them all together. Yeah. So I launched myself, and then psh, I land, like, right on the edge of it, but pancake, and I hit my head on, on like, the, the, the wood. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, so, anyways, I don't know. It was a big, it was, like, a big ordeal and stuff like that. And it was, like, this, this one girl, like, the pretty girl of uh, our class that, like, we kind of, like, crush on. She helped you. Yeah, she just like felt oh, something sorry or something, movie. and then you know what I did for the rest of the uh, year? Huh. Try to hurt myself. <laughs> I would hey, throw I myself. Need some help. <laughs> I was such an idiot. I would throw myself <laughs> off the playset. <laughs> oh my god! Make sure she's looking. Like, yo, don't drop off. Don't drop off until she's looking. <laughs> Yeah, I would do that. I would kind of like run around and stuff like that, and I would just untie my shoes on purpose and run right by her. And that's kind of cute. She probably thought I was a freaking idiot. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute, though. Yeah, you have any stories like that? Yeah. Yo, like so one time, crush? um, it's not about a crush or anything, but it's about jumping off the swing set. So you know how the swing set is like an A, a pole, and then an A. Yeah. And, okay, so. When you um, get as high as the pole that's holding the, you know, what are they called? Strings or whatever. What are the yeah. handles for the ropes? Okay, mm-hmm. we're, well, say it's a rope swing, okay? The chains. Okay, the chains, thank you. Okay, so as soon as you get the seat. <laughs> we get a podcast and we don't even know how to talk. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, so once you get perpendicular to the seat and the um, pole and you're like top height, you can't go any higher until you flip over it. I let go and I was going to jump off and my hand got caught. And so that bitch pulled me back. And so I was like up in the air. It felt so slow motion. I was up in the air. And then like three seconds later, I'm like getting dragged back down to gravity with like the fucking swing. And then I ended up with a rock. You bent you bent the chain up in the thing. Huh? You mean, you mean my, like the chain bent? Okay, so I let go of the swing whenever I was at the, the, the top. Uh huh. On the backside? Yeah, uh-huh. I let go and the chain caught my hand because it, I don't know, I guess it moved or something or I moved wrong. And so it pulled me back oh, down with the down. swing <laughs> so you because the fall seat off. was heavy. Yeah, so I was out of the seat already and my <clears throat> hand is caught to the seat and it's going back down with gravity. And then I was like, so it like air. slammed you down. Hell yeah, it like body slammed me. Yeah. And then I ended up with like a freaking rock in my elbow and shit and I had to go to the hospital. I had a time like that, um, like when I was wakeboarding and you jumped awake, sometimes you'll like uh, undershoot it and like I did that, uh, I undershot it and it caught the little front end of the board. So it's basically like I'm facing the boat that's getting, uh, so the rope's right here, I'm facing the boat and I'm jumping and then the where my toes are at, the water catches that and then you could imagine I'm getting dragged by a boat going whatever, 20 miles, what is it? Boats aren't really that fast, but they, it's fast enough. Boats can get fast. Yeah, it was, it was one of those wake uh, boarding boats. Like we were getting up there, so that and then like sh- so like, an and you're strapped on the boot, so it like oh pancakes you. <laughs> yeah, and there's like everybody on the shore, uh, just, just watching you yeah, fail. <laughs> yeah, because I was jumping back and forth. I was like, yeah. oh, I got this, and I, this is like my first day of wakeboarding. And I was like, let me, let me, let me <laughs> give him a show. <laughs> let me give him a show, and then I should. I gave him a show because I remember just coming up and like. That shit knocked me out, man. So like, you knocked bro. out in the it water. It didn't even like knock me out, but it felt like just getting like punched in the face. Like, yeah. 
where you see stars a little bit. Yeah. I remember I had black eyes, like little light no, black, shit. not not full black eyes, but depression. You had a little bruising, yeah. Yeah, a little bit bruising eyes. and stuff. That's so, crazy. Yeah, and I just remember getting like first thing, first sound I heard off the water was ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I promise we're not going to be talking about all these stupid uh, false stories on our podcast. We're really going to get into some much deeper topics coming up uh soon we got a couple guests coming up i got one um about show up here in another 30 minutes so i mean i guess we could just go ahead you want to wrap it up right now do this i mean how long have we been recording we're already 30 minutes in over 30 minutes yeah yeah we can wrap it up and then y'all tune into our next pod because that shit is dropping when the same probably the same time as this yo that shit is dropping tonight and it's, it's gonna be good our uh, yeah. guest is like a really good talker so yeah so uh well if you're still listening to us at this point we appreciate, appreciate you <laughs> <laughs> this was rough right sorry it's so hard yo it's so hard to podcast it yo. is it is like once you get on and you have to keep talking it's easy to talk about one thing and then once you get over that subject you're like uh and you're like trying to find the next subject to talk about it's hard to like transition what did you do to him? I didn't. He's about to knock our camera over. So I'm Uh-oh. trying to, I pinched him a little bit. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much <laughs> oh for God. tuning in to Test 2 <laughs> this Talk. This is a wreck. All right. We're, I promise you we'll get better. Next one will be better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is this as soon as you hit the record, it just feel like. It doesn't feel like you. Oh, yeah. Because you could talk all day with your best friends right. on the phone and everything. But as soon as that record button, I think it's like, you know that. I don't know. Just I think it's the whole thing about like you know someone's listening, um, and they're not listening right now. But like you know that they're going to listen, so it's like you're trying so hard to, to focus. Sound cool, yes, to sound to good cool, and like yeah. to transition good, and it's hard. It really is hard. But at least we'll we got get, this one knocked out. I feel like we'll get better. As we will get better, you guys. Just we really. stick with us, guys, please. <laughs> yeah, and if you don't, hang fuck in there. It. <laughs> hey, what did it say? Uh, press play and walk away. Okay. Right. All right, guys. (laughs) All right, peace.